Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Russia escalated its offensive against Ukraine with an intense bombing campaign, deploying nearly 40 KAB aerial guided bombs on Ukrainian positions and civilian infrastructure. This surge in hostilities, reported by the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, marks a significant intensification of the conflict along the front lines. Throughout the day, Russian forces relentlessly attacked Ukrainian positions across almost the entire front line. Kharkiv, a major city in eastern Ukraine, bore the brunt of these assaults, experiencing four major attacks involving rockets and aerial guided bombs. Missiles struck central parks and dense residential areas, causing widespread destruction and panic. A hypermarket was hit by two KAB bombs, illustrating the indiscriminate nature of the attacks. In total, six missiles and two aerial guided bombs targeted Kharkiv, contributing to the approximately 40 aerial guided bombs launched across various fronts. The KAB series of laser guided bombs, developed by Russia, are known for their precision and destructive capability. These bombs are designed to be dropped from aircraft and guided to their targets using advanced laser guidance systems. The KAB 500L, a lightweight variant, is particularly effective against stationary targets such as buildings and bridges. With a maximum range of 30 kilometers and a high explosive fragmentation warhead, it has been a staple in various conflicts, including the Syrian civil war. Another variant, the KAB 500KR, utilizes electro-optical TV guidance and operates on a fire and forget principle. This bomb feature seen matching area correlation (SMAC) technology, allowing it to effectively target low contrast objects. The KAB 500KR's 380 kg armor-piercing warhead can penetrate up to 1.5 meters of reinforced concrete, making it a formidable weapon against fortified structures. The KAB 1500LG FE, a larger and more powerful bomb in the KAB series, weighs 1525 kg and employs a semi-active laser guidance system. Capable of destroying a wide range of military and industrial facilities, it is compatible with advanced Russian aircraft like the Su-30, Su-34, and Su-35. The KAB-1500 has been used in major conflicts, including those in Chechnya, Syria, and the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. The most intense clashes on May 25 were recorded in the Kupiansk, Pokrovsk, and Kurakov directions. Ukrainian troops on the Kharkiv axis successfully repelled six attacks, with four more ongoing. In Kupiansk, despite increased pressure from Russian forces, half of the 14 recorded assaults were repelled, with seven still continuing. The Lyman direction saw five attacks, one of which is still ongoing. On the Siversk axis, Russian forces attempted to storm Ukrainian positions in Bylohorivka and Verknokamiansk, resulting in nine clashes, with five still ongoing. The Kramatorsk direction witnessed 11 combat clashes, with one still ongoing, as Russian forces continued their assaults near Klishchivka, Nov, Ivanivsk, and Andrivka. Pokrovsk emerged as the hottest point on the front line, with 23 enemy attacks recorded. Ukrainian forces held their ground, inflicting significant losses on the enemy and successfully downing another Russian Su-25 warplane. In Kurikov, 14 clashes occurred, with 8 attacks repelled and 4 ongoing. On the Orykiv axis, the enemy attempted three assaults near Robotyne and Novoadrivka without success. The Pridnoprovska axis saw an increase in attacks to nine, but none succeeded in suppressing Ukrainian units in the Krynky area. In other areas, the situation remains largely unchanged. The escalation on May 25, 2024, underscores the intensity and complexity of the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The deployment of nearly 40 KAB aerial guided bombs and the relentless assault on Ukrainian positions highlight the severe and ongoing challenges faced by both military and civilian populations in the conflict zones. As the war continues, the resilience and determination of Ukrainian forces remain critical in countering the aggressive advances of Russian troops. That's all for now. See you later.